Warhammer 40,000 is set in a very grim, dark future setting in the 41st millennia. Basically, mankind is surrounded by this immense alien horde that's bent on its utter destruction. It has all the elements of um, really traditional fantasy, like orcs and that kind of stuff, but it's set far in the future where they all have guns. We really have taken the IP to heart. Relic has a strong history of working with the GW a Warhammer 40,000 IP. We, we love that IP, and we don't want to sell short any of the action and the violence. In our game, you're sent down to one small planet that's an uh, industrialized world designed to manufacture weapons of war. The orcs are there to get their hands on the warlord class Titan. Titans are gargantuan beasts of metal bristling with weapons that could level whole cities. And if the orcs can get their hands on these weapons, they could ravage countless worlds and they would be a true threat to the Imperium. Space Marines started out as human beings, but they go through a rigorous process of training and physical transformation that really elevates them into almost demigods. Their bodies actually are implanted with new organs. Their strength is multiplied, their resistance is multiplied. Captain Titus is the protagonist in the story. He's the main character. He has the ability to take the rules and sort of interpret them in his own way. And some of the other characters in the story have different viewpoints on how that should be interpreted. Millions more of them. Our plan is unchanged. The main threat in Space Marine are the orcs. They are a brutal, animalistic, barbaric uh, race of beings. Orcs is just one of the, the main races found in the fiction. And it's the one that we felt best complemented the Space Marines. Space Marines are very serious, very controlled. The Orcs are sort of messy, vicious, violent. So it adds a nice contrast. We have some which are like shamans. They have magical powers. We also have Gretchen. They're these little tiny minions. We also have the Knob. He matches the Space Marine in size and bulk. In fact, he's even bigger. In Space Marine, there are other shadowy forces that are sort of lurking in the background. And Titus and the player will have to confront those if they are able to save the Forge world. Space Marine has such an interesting, compelling setting. It goes all the way from the aesthetic, the architecture, with this sort of futuristic, gothic feeling, the epic scale of everything. Everything is immense. Everything is larger than life. There's a sort of a beauty in the world. There's also so much darkness and death and destruction. And those contrasts create such an interesting sort of canvas for us to paint on. It's just a tremendous sci-fi fantasy universe. It's not just a simple story about an orc invasion in the Forge world. There's much more depth going on. There's lots of twists and turns in the story. There's betrayals. The action is amazingly intense. Really, anybody who likes science fiction, who likes any kind of blockbuster entertainment, is going to love Space Marine.